Salve te omnes. If you'd like to support the channel along with these patrons, I'd really appreciate the support. There's a link in the description box below. In this lesson, we will focus on the word for to go, because it's partially irregular in Latin, just like in English. We'll start out with a short dialogue and try to guess which word means go in the first four sentences. Quo is eo domum? Et quo is tu? Et tabernam eo flores emere wallo? Taberna clausa est. Malum, nunc domum eo. Et domos eunt. We saw three different forms of the verb meaning to go. Eo, aigo, is, you go, eunt, they go. So you can probably guess that quo is means where are you going? Remember, most of the WH question words begin with QU in Latin. And the infinitive of to go is ire, so is is a regular conjugation. Then we had eo domum, I am going home. If you're above a certain age, you can remember this by thinking, Captain Eo had a cool way of going, i.e. moonwalking, because he was Michael Jackson. Then Maximus asks, and where are you going? To which Valentina replies, at tabernam eo, I am going to the store. Remember, the preposition ad triggers the accusative and indicates to where you are going. Taberna can mean shop or store, and also inn or tavern, which is where this word comes from. The next sentence contains an easy word to guess and one that's hard to guess. Flores emere wallo. I want to buy flowers. Flores is easy, right? But emere is harder to connect to an English word. However, it's found at the end of the word redeem. And perhaps you can remember this by thinking, I'll redeem a coupon in order to buy this. Then we have taberna clausa est, followed by malum. Can you guess what these two sentences mean? The store is closed. Darn. And the last sentence contains words we know, but in different forms. Et domos eunt. Here domos is the plural accusative form of domus, and eunt is the plural form of eo, so it means they go. And notice domos has no preposition, but the accusative form is used to indicate the object or goal of the movement. And this is just like how in English we say, I'm going home, not I'm going to home. Let's use the verb ire a little more. If you go is is, can you guess what she goes is? It. Just like the English word. <laughs> For example, ad scolum it per pedes. He or she goes to school by foot. The connection between pedes and pedestrian is pretty obvious. But pedes is the plural form, so per pedes is more like saying by feet, which makes more sense since we're not hopping. <laughs> Try to guess now how to say we go. Imus. The we form is the most regular of all the conjugations. Here's an example using this word. Solis diebus in ecclesiam imus. We go to church on Sundays. You have probably heard of ecclesiastical Latin, which is also sometimes called church Latin. Ecclesia simply means church. And the phrase solis diebus is a good chunk to learn because it contains the plural ablative form. That makes sense, doesn't it? We use the ablative to indicate at what place in time the event occurs. And it's plural because it's every Sunday. Let's try another sentence like this. 
Remembering that Monday is moon day, try to say, I go to the store on Mondays. Lunae diebus ad tabernam eo. One thing I've skipped over until now, because I didn't want to make the conjugation so overwhelming, is that there is a plural you form. So, you guys go is itis. And try to say, you guys are going to the forest. Ad silvam itis. This ending, T-I-S, is the U plural conjugation. But for regular verbs, we just add T-I before the S in the U conjugation. So is becomes itis. It's a little like adding the te to salve to make it plural. So how would we say, you guys love? Amatis. And you guys have one brother? Unum fraturum abetis. We're going to revisit the dialogue again now, but this time in the past tense. Quo iwisti? Iwi domum. Et quo iwisti tu? Et tabernam iwi. Flores emere volebam, sed taberna clausa erat. Malum. This contained the forms iwi and iwisti. Try to say now, I went by foot. Perpedes iwi. And now, did you go to school? Iwistine ad scolum. As you can see, this verb isn't so irregular, and it's pretty easy to conjugate since it's usually just e plus the appropriate ending. In the conjugations we've just seen, the irregular forms were eo and eant. So these are the only forms you have to memorize. Good luck! Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and if you can, help support the channel on Patreon, where there are audio downloads and transcripts of each dialogue and story. Gratias!